dear students welcome to the knowledge series here under the course ec407 computer communication we are going to discuss on error control error detections what exactly the error control and error detection it indicates the error control uh, is basically a technique uh, for detecting and correcting a block of data uh, which is used for uh, communications from the source to destinations or in another word we can uh, say that uh, the error control is the mechanism that uh, thereby we can able to see that the bits are in appropriate form while the information is being transferred from the uh, source to destination through a medium the medium may be noisy medium or a noiseless medium however the bit which is being transmitted it has to receive by the receiver so there should be a proper control of that particular uh, data so as you all know about the osi layer so error control uh, is basically a part with respect to the data link layer and uh, uh, here in the data link layer we try to use uh, the uh, mechanisms uh, thereby the tra uh, transmission of the data if it is fa failed then it is retransmitted so uh, error control is one uh, parameters and the error detection is there so we have to see that we we do the control of that error uh, uh, or we can say that the bit which is transmitted from the source to destination is in appropriate forms in case if any error is occurred then it has to identify where that particular error in the bit uh, is uh, 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 looking to be or or at, or at which location it is so uh, error detection and the uh, corrections both it is occurred in the transport layer and in the data link layers so this is you have to uh, keep it in your mind so here uh, we can try to see the uh, error uh, detections so uh, error detection what is exactly it means when a data is transmitted from a one device to another device the system uh, does not guarantee whether the data is uh, is uh, going to receive or uh, the data received by the device is identical to the data that is transmitted by another device that means uh, the source and destinations uh, if it is uh, not in a uh, appropriate form so then uh, the data may be uh, varying so in that case uh, in a data detections it is very necessary that uh, if the data is transmitted from the sender to the receiver they should be able to identify the uh, 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 similarity and in case if there is no similarity then it has to detect where exactly it is so there are two type of error that is being classified one is a single bit error another is a burst error if you try to see here in the single bit error the uh, single bit error means only one bit change say this is the uh, mm, series of bit or a stream of bit which is transmitted from the transmitter uh, side to the receiver side and uh, uh, you can try to see that uh, uh, if it is a 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this uh, bit and at the receiver side the same 8 bit is there but at the fourth locations that is 0 1 2 3 that is at this particular locations uh, that is a third location if you take it in the zeros onwards so at the third point you can see that the bit has changed its phase from the 0 to 1 so this is a single bit error so that is how we treat the single bit error and uh, if you uh, try to see the single bit error uh, mainly occur in the uh, uh, parallel data transmissions 
you have seen that the serial data transmission and the parallel data transmission in my previous video so in a parallel bit uh, uh, transmissions we transmit uh, the stream of a bit in that parallel uh, forms so uh, that is a single uh, bit form of a uh, error so if 8 bit is sent and uh, out of 8 bit if 1 bit is noisy then that bit is we treat as a single bit or a corrupt error so here you transmit bit like this one so then it become a parallel and in the similar way it has to receive at the receiver side now we go to the next one is a burst error so burst means a burst error uh, means a two or more uh, bits uh, if it is changed from a zero to one or from a one to zero it is known as a burst error and the burst error is to uh, uh, is determined uh, from the first corrupted bit to the last corrupted bit that means if you try to see this is a parallel transmission uh, from a uh, sending side to the receiver side you can see here if it is 0 1 2 3 so this is a uh, uh, one bit and uh, like that there is a another bit third bit fourth bit like that assume that this bit has changed uh, after that this bit has no change there is no change there is no change again there is a change and after that there is no change up till the end so that means that the burst error is determined based on the first corrupt bit and the last corrupt bit so this is known as the length of a burst error and th this is treated as zero that is one two three four five so that is a five uh, 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 mm, length of the burst error is five so the duration of a noise in the burst error is more uh, than the duration of a single bit if you are seen in this case this is a duration is single single bit change but here the burst error is a uh, 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 it, if the length is more then it will consume a more uh, time so that's why the duration of a noise in this case is more and burst uh, error is basically occurs uh, uh, in the serial uh, data transmission where a single bit occurs in the parallel data transmission and the number of affected bit it depend upon the noisy and as well as data rate that means uh, if the noise is more then the data rate reduce because the more bit changes if the noise is less the lesser uh, uh, bit change will be there so your data rate will be in a better way so that is what we uh, try to see in the case of burst error now we go to the next is a error control phase in the error control phase there are three type of uh, error control phase one is uh, uh, how we control the error is based on the error detection acknowledgement and a retransmission this is a very important first is you have to identify the uh, you have to uh, localize the error uh, or uh, you, ca you have to detect the error and if uh, th that is one you have to acknowledgement that is nothing but a handshaking if the handshaking is missing then a retransmission as you know that uh, uh, earlier also I have spoken if, uh, if you take a simple handshaking between a sender and receiver that is uh, a request uh, REQ then uh, 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 clear to send CRT uh, then, uh, uh, then uh, you can uh, clear to transmit then uh, data then finally acknowledge acknowledge is the final acknowledge where data after data uh, is received it is acknowledged so if the acknowledge is missing that means the data has not received so a retransmission it has to take place so there is a detection is that the, the data has not uh, been received so the first to detect the data received at the receiver end has an error or not that is the first part you have to identify the data is proper or intact or not acknowledgement is uh, basically if an error is detected in this case uh, then the receiver has to send with the negative acknowledgement so that is uh, nothing but a NACK of, uh, to the receiver that is known as a negative acknowledgement otherwise it has to send an acknowledgement retransmissions retransmissions means when a sender uh, 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 receive a, a NACK that means uh, 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 negative acknowledgement or if the acknowledgement is not uh, received then the sender will understand that uh, 
there is a retransmission of the data is necessary. So again, that data is being uh, resent. So this is uh, what we, uh, we see in the case of a uh, error uh, control phase. So remember, error detection, acknowledgement, and uh, retransmissions. Now we uh, go with uh, uh, the error detection uh, technique. What are the different error detections technique? So there are different uh, method is that single parity check, uh, two dimensional parity check, checksum and a cyclic redundancy check. Now single parity check, let us see here in this uh, particular figure, a single parity checking. So uh, in a, uh, in a uh, basically in a single parity checking, it is the uh, very simple and uh, inexpensive method to detect uh, uh, the error. So uh, yeah, basically in this uh, technique what it is being done is that a redundant uh, bit, a redundant bit means a bit that is repeated in natures. So that is being considered as a parity. Uh, uh, say for example, if I am saying uh, that uh, uh, one, 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 let us take a case one, one, one. So how many ones are there? There are three ones, so three is odd number. So three numbers of one is indicates that we will uh, denote that one as append by a bit one. If there is a three uh, ones or a odd number of ones, then we'll uh, consider as one. But if there is a one, one, zero, so there is a two ones, so that is a even number of ones, then we append it as a bit zero. So uh, uh, you have to remember that if a, a, if a odd bit comes, we say uh, that it is a odd parity uh, uh, checking. If it is an even bit comes, then we say that it is an even parity checking. So here you can try to see this one. A sender is uh, there and here one zero one one zero one one. So you can s find, you can see that there is a five uh, ones are there. So it is an odd uh, bit. So it is uh, looking, it is computing the parity bit based on this one. So when, when it found that it is an odd bit, what it has done, this, this is the same data. It is kept here on the left side. On the right side, it has been put as one because it is an odd uh, parity. So it is appended by one. So this is being transmitted. At the receiver side, the same thing, just like in the OSI form, uh, the uh, receiver side, the bit has come exactly the same bit and it is uh, going to compute the parity bits. Now what it is going to compute the parity bit, at the receiver side it is going to check for the even parity. So since the uh, incoming bit is a, 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 a odd parity, so it will say as a, uh, it is not a even, so it is a rejected data. If it is a even parity, it is accepted data. That means this is a single parity check. So if you, if you, uh, it does not mean that uh, this, uh, this is wrong. Rather, it is uh, stating that as per this figure, is it states that this has distinguished that uh, the transmission side bit which has received it is a odd parity, and this is a, if it is, if it was a even bit, then it could have gone uh, this side as an accept data. The drawback uh, of uh, this type of a parity is that. Uh, it can only uh, detect a single uh, uh, bit error. Uh, that is the, uh, uh, it can only detect a single bit error uh, in a very rare case. But if there are two bit error is there, then it will not able to detect. Now you just to see here, it is zero and one. So uh, uh, here also zero and one. Assume that how many bits are ones here? There are two bits. So you will say it is a even uh, bit, okay? So uh, assume that uh, this uh, uh, this bit itself is uh, sorry. This is an odd bit because sorry, even bit one and one. This is a two bits. Now the same bit is shown here, except that this position and this position bit has changed to one one. Now you just see here one two three four. Again, it is a even uh, uh, number of bits. So that is a uh, uh, it looks like a even parity. So if it is a one bit change, then it can able to detect. But if it is a two bit change, it is not going to detect. So that is the drawback of a single bit parity check. So to overcome uh, uh, this one, we are going with the next is a two dimensional parity check. 
the uh, two dimensional parity uh, check uh, actually try to resolve the drawback of a, a single parity check its drawback is solved over here now if you try to see here this is the original data block now data block means this is a stream of bit and this is divided into eight bit uh, as a one block so this is uh, one two three four there are four blocks you can see so this is the input bit and uh, this individual block is uh, placed here this is pla placed here this is placed here this is placed here and this is also placed here now what they are doing is that from this uh, uh, this is a horizontal way they are going to scan that means he, he they will count the number of bits and find out whether it is even or odd so one two three four five so it is a odd parity that's why one one two three four five again a odd parity one one two three four so it is even parity zero one two three it is a uh, odd parity it is one so this is what you can see here now that is uh, that is a row parity it is stated now another thing is that uh, there is a column parity that means you will see in a vertical way Th even though it is an individual block of data uh, uh, we will be seeing in a vertical way here you can see two bit so it is a uh, 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 one uh, uh, two so uh, in this case it is a uh, uh, even parity so zero one two three odd so it is one so one one two even zero one two three odd it is one one two even it is zero one it is odd one one two three four uh, here it is uh, uh, even so zero here it is zero so actually it is a uh, in the figure it is uh, this is here it is zero you should treat this one as a zero if you refer my note you can see that that is corrected there it is a zero there okay now if you if you again take the uh, row wise of that after doing the column parity if you take it what is going one two three so it is a uh, uh, odd parity it is one so here uh, what you have seen is that uh, uh, there is a, a, a redundant uh, bit uh, which we call it as a, a parity bit so uh, we uh, when when we do this type of a uh, row wise when you take it it is known as a vertical redundancy check and when we are when you are taking in a in a uh, in a vertical uh, this way then we uh, we termed as a longitudinal a redundancy check or, or a block of a code as the parity bits so uh, so there are two type uh, is the redundancy vertical redundancy check and longitudinal redundancy check so these two things we we uh, 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 take together and thereby we try to find the two dimensional parity check now uh, uh, here uh, you have to understand that uh, suppose say for example uh, uh, yeah, if we, we take a case like this one zero one zero okay now this position has made like zero and one here zero and one okay so if you change this one zero here and zero here one here one here and if you try to see this one so previously this was even uh, even after making one one again it is even here it was one 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 it was odd if you make this to zero again it is odd so the two uh, two dimensional parity check under these conditions is not able to detect and not able to correct this is one of the drawback of a two dimensional form of a uh, parity check another uh, thing uh, what i want to say here in this case of a two uh, two dimensional parity check is that uh, 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 there is a, a, a redundant bit redundant bit is nothing but uh, we define as i plus j plus one now uh, what exactly the uh, i i exactly uh, means is that uh, say for example if you try to see here there are uh, four uh, uh, how many uh, b uh, bits are here uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven uh, uh, twelve and here is missing that is a, a 13 so this is known as a, a, a 
redundant bit so uh, a redundant bit says how many numbers of rows are there that is uh, we treat as i secondly how many bits are there in in a each row that is 8 bit so i plus uh, j is number of bits so that is 4 plus 8 that is 12 plus 1 that is 13 that is same as here so this is known as a uh, redundant uh, uh, bit uh, scenario in the case of a two dimension and i have told that uh, in the two dimension bit if uh, like a case like this one you will find the error is not able to detect so we go with the next uh, method is nothing but a, a checksum methods now uh, what exactly is the uh, checksum method a checksum basically is an error detection uh, technique it is based on the concept of a uh, redundancy so in the uh, uh, checksum uh, error detection scheme what we are do, uh, going to do is that we are dividing into k segments we are dividing uh, uh, data into k segment and e each of them has a, a n bits or a m bits in uh, nature so here in the figure it is uh, shown as a n bits so we have a k sections we have uh, uh, and each section will be having a n bit so uh, in the sender uh, here it, uh, here it is a sender and the receiver side so in the sender and the sender uh, what it is going to do is that it is going to add once uh, it is going to uh, do the uh, arithmetical uh, co computation that means it is uh, going to use a once complements mm, arithmetic to get a sum that means if there are n bits are there it is uh, uh, you can see n bits are there it is do doing a sum after doing a sum it is doing a complement of that one so or in another we uh, another word i can say that uh, uh, these n bits has come from the once uh, complement uh, additions so that is what we see once complement addition means suppose if you are adding a n bits and at the end uh, at the uh, msb if you are say finding n plus one bit that one bit will be coming again back and is added to the n bit so that's how we get a sum and finally uh, uh, you 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 try to uh, uh, get the final results that is the final sum once you get the final sum from there you take the complement of that one that means here you do the complete things of the summations plus the ones complement then after that you do one more uh, complement of the whole bits and thereby you create a checksum that is what you say check uh, you are checking the entire sum these uh, uh, checksum uh, you are using in the final phase at the receiver side when you receive the bits you do the similar way you add all the bits using a once complement and after that uh, you get uh, the final sum and uh, in this uh, sum you are going to uh, 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 you are going to add the checksum and that checksum whatever the data is you are getting that data if it is uh, 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 no no when, uh, when when you are getting that that total sum after adding the checksum this one if you uh, take a complement you will be finding that it is showing a zero 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 so that is known as uh, uh, the transmitted bit is same as the receiver bit, uh, received bit. Uh, we will see one uh, a, a simple example to understand. So here, when a sender is sending, there are two things they are sending, two frames that is uh, that is combined together. Here you can try to see a data is there, that is a n bit data is there, that is what, and it is along along with that data, that checksum is also added. So that is what is known as. Uh, uh, the, uh, the sender side at the receiver side in the similar way you are going to uh, get the end bit and the uh, uh, checksum uh, for the further uh, uh, further uh, manipulation um, further uh, analysis uh, you can say computational to see that uh, the result is uh, showing a complement is showing a zero 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 that is uh, to assume as it is accepting the data that is what here uh, here again I have shown in another way you can see a packet is nothing but a summation of a data plus a checksum bit and here the same thing is shown uh, after doing the complement if the result is zero 
you will accept that otherwise you will discard let's see this uh, particular example if you see this uh, example you can try to see this the original data is uh, sh uh, shown over here and here what is the uh, block size uh, block size of a m is equal to 8 and how many blocks k is equal to 4 that is what i i have uh, i was explaining with respect to section this is sections four section and each section has a, a, a n bits okay so here you can see the sender uh, the first uh, uh, block has come and the second block has come they have added this one since the last bit is one one so automatically it is definitely showing a carry so that's what it is it is one here so this one is brought here and it is added because it's a once complement additions again uh, with this bit the next uh, third bit is added so here there is no uh, once complement is coming it has it has just went to with the direct uh, additions uh, uh, under the once complement but without any uh, 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 msb don't have any higher uh, the uh, the flow bits so uh, it is going to add with the uh, fourth bi uh, uh, fourth sectional bits so after addition again you can see here uh, the uh, addition uh, one more uh, bit is uh, overflowing the MSP so that's why that is going as a once complement so you get a final sum now this sum you are directly taking a complement that is known as checksum so what you are doing you are you are going to uh, send the data uh, uh, data that is nothing but your uh, data bits this data bits this entire data bits and the checksum bits so you will be getting a five sections that is transmitted at the receiver side this entire bit is taken at the first four is taken just like how it has added here also it is added so you can see that this sum uh, at this point zero zero one zero zero one zero that is what you can see here this sum now what you are going to do you are adding with this checksum so you got the total sum its complement is become zero 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 so you what you have seen if the result is zero you accept so that is known as accepted data so this is known as a checksum form of additions now we go to the next uh, uh, section that is a cyclic redundancy specs or a crc so this is a very important uh, uh, sections cyclic redundancy uh, 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 check is a redundancy error technique uh, basically is it is used to determine the error so unlike the checksum uh, which is used for uh, based on the additions here you are doing the additional computation but in the cyclic redundancy check uh, you are doing a, a binary divisions this is very important uh, so you should understand that, that it is a binary a division based on that uh, it is going to uh, do that uh, particular divisions so uh, uh, here you can see a data is there a crc is there we will talk about how this particular crc is being uh, uh, created generated so for data is divided with the crc uh, and after the division they are going to see the remainder so uh, a, a zero is there accept if it is a non-zero is there it will reject uh, at the receiver side means uh, in the sender side you do the uh, uh, divisions and whatever the uh, reminder is there that is a crc value that crc value is added to this data is transmitted at the uh, at the receiver side just like how you do the crc divisions and it is going to verify the reminder if the reminder is zero it is accepted otherwise is it is rejected that is what we have seen in the checksum also so uh, it is uh, accepting in one phase and rejecting uh, if, if it is not a non-zero so here if you try to see uh, this is a computer it is transmitting a, a data you are sending an email uh, to the other uh, party or you are sending some information so uh, and that is what it is shown here you can see number one prepared message so your message is there calculate the approach of a, uh, and a calculate and uh, append the crc that means from this message they are going to find the crc okay how it is i will show you in the next slide and this crc and the message is transmitted to the receiver at the receiver side you can see that this is three is it is sending a message uh, plus crc 
now at the receiver side you can see that uh, 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 the receiver receives the message plus CRC that is what we just received now it calculates the CRC it calculates the CRC by uh, again the same practice how it has done in the sender side by divisions and uh, 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 compares the C received the CRC with the calculated uh, 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 CRC uh, 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 if there is a uh, uh, error then it will reject if there is no error uh, and that is if everything is zero it is considered as a uh, error free otherwise it is having error it is rejected so this CRC and by divisions that CRC is it uh, same or not because this CRC is embedded and sending this message if during that point of a transmission if it is changing then by dividing with CRC you will not get zero or sometime may get zero but uh, uh, as far as if the bit change and if uh, this CRC is not getting into zero that means there is error otherwise if there is uh, everything is uh, reminder is zero then it is treated as error free transmissions so here uh, you can see that the sender and the receiver uh, as I uh, uh, says that both agree upon a uh, one condition that is a generator polynomial so this is a generator polynomial so when we try to see uh, this is a seventh order polynomial so here you can see the uh, it is a x to zero, uh, the power of 0 x to the power of 1 2 then uh, 3 4 is 0 5 uh, uh, as, uh, then 6 has a, uh, 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 the, the variable uh, as a 0 so that is 0 and s7 uh, is existing so from this whichever uh, 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 the order is available from there you are you are going to identify uh, uh, the, uh, the, the variable uh, factors now here if it is x into 0 1 into x into 0 is nothing but so here you are taking this element here 1 here also 1 uh, uh, 3 f and 4 and uh, uh, 6 to, um, to the power of 6 uh, no, x to the power of uh, 3 and x to the power of 4 x to the power of 6 is having a uh, element zeros so that you are uh, seeing over here and here x to the power of 7 has the element 1 so here in this uh, partic uh, particular scen scenario your uh, divisor is shown in this way 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 this is a divisor you have uh, generated from the generator polynomial now uh, you have to understand in this case is that in the C uh, CRC gen uh, generator this is a uh, uh, divisor uh, uh, bits uh, 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 this is what uh, is going to use uh, for dividing the data and before uh, dividing the uh, bit, se uh, bit sequence the original data is appended that means uh, suppose uh, uh, if a original uh, uh, data if you are uh, consider that uh, the original data is uh, say uh, 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 let us uh, uh, take into consideration that there are uh, five bits in the original data and in the in the uh, in the divisor there is a uh, uh, four data so that is uh, uh, five is one side and uh, four is one side so we 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 try to append the data by considering that uh, uh, that is 5 plus 4 minus 1 5 plus 4 minus 1 is how many there is uh, uh, in that uh, it, it it shows uh, the additional number of a uh, zeros so uh, you uh, if you are if you are taking a 5 case uh, no uh, sorry uh, uh, 5 plus uh, n minus 1 that is data plus uh, crc minus 1 so if there are uh, 5 bits of data four bits of a crc so data five plus four minus one that is three so how many is that so it becomes a additional two more bits so that uh, additional uh, two bits is being added so uh, like that we are we are taking into considerations uh, for identifying the case or we, uh, we can say that uh, uh, in the case of a uh, crc generator the data bit and the uh, and the divisor bit is being appended uh, in s uh, in such a way that uh, the number of bit is being uh, considered to see that uh, uh, while dividing a divisor it will able to generate a crc uh, reminder 
Now to understand this one, let us see, uh, take this example. Now here if you try to see that a CRC generator is used using, using a modulo two uh, uh, divisions. Now uh, here if you try to see that uh, the bit is shown one, 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 zero, uh, 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 one, 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 uh, uh, triple one, zero, zero. So this is the uh, one uh, set of a, a bit is being shown over here. So with this one, we are going to add a three bit based on that uh, condition m plus n minus one scenario. So when you are when you are added, the three bit is uh, here in this case is being added. So uh, the divisor is you can see that it is a one zero zero one. So uh, based on this one, it is going a XOR operation here. So if you do XOR operation, you can see 101, 101, 101. Uh, Again, this zero has uh, come here. And this particular process is going until the last. And at the last point, you can try to see that uh, you got a 111. Now what is going to uh, do is that this 111, this is a three bit. This three bit is added again to this 11100. This is nothing but your M value. This is a N value, okay? Now this is again added, you can see that one, 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 zero, zero. So this is added, again a division is done. So at the, uh, after div doing a division, you can try to see that it has got a uh, reminder zero. So this a particular form of a, uh, a, a, a cyclic form of a, or a CRC form of a uh, checking, it is uh, going to uh, show that uh, uh, there are, uh, uh, if it is error free, there, uh, uh, it, wi it will show that uh, uh, the transmission and the receiver bit is identical. But if the, if the, uh, if the reminder is not to zero, uh, 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 it will identify that there is a change in the message uh, uh, because of the uh, transmission. So this is what we, we, we try to uh, see in the case of a CRC uh, scenario. Now uh, we go to the next discussions is about the error corrections. So we have been, we have discussed the error detections different uh, type. What are the different type of error detection we have seen? We have seen the single parity check, two dimensional parity check, checksum and a cyclic redundancy check. That is very important from the university perspective. Now we go with the error corrections. In the error corrections, if you uh, try to uh, see here, there are uh, uh, error corrections can be handled in a uh, two uh, ways. One is a backward error uh, corrections, another is a forward error corrections. So what exactly the uh, backward error corrections it means? The backward error corrections it exactly uh, means that once the error is uh, uh, discovered, the receiver requests the sender to retransmit the uh, uh, entire data. So that is the what is backward error correction. That means you are transmitted data and the receiver uh, is uh, uh, requesting that uh, that you retransmit. That means the data was not in a proper way. That is known as BEC or a uh, backward error corrections. And in the case of a forward error correction, the receiver, uh, you can see the receiver used the error correcting code which automatically corrects the error. So that is what uh, it will use the uh, error correcting code for uh, correcting the uh, error. Thereby, the, uh, the error which is there in the bit, it will be automatically gets corrected. So these are the two way, uh, methods by means we can do the error correction. That is a backward way by BEC or in a FTC. So uh, you, ha you can understand that in the uh, error corrections uh, for correcting the error, one has to know exact position of the error. That is very important because if you know, if you don't know the exact position of the bit, the, uh, then that uh, locations uh, find it little uh, uh, tiresome. So to locate the bit uh, in the error, a redundant bit, you can see a redundant uh, bit are, are used uh, as a parity bit for error detection. That means you are sending a data bit along with that you are sending a redundant bit and that M plus R, M is a data bit and it's an, uh, R is a redundant bit. This M plus R you are able to uh, 
uh, transmit. Now here you have to understand that uh, in the case of a uh, 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 redundant bit exactly what is going to happen now if if assume that the total uh, data bit m is here uh, uh, we are mentioning that m is equal to 4 assume then uh, here you are considering r bit r bit in how uh, r bit in such a way that uh, let us take that uh, uh, 2 to the power of r that means uh, you, you are you are uh, taking a binary bit so that's why in the in the form of a 2 to the power of r is representing if m plus r plus 1 if you are taking that factor if 2 to the power of r is greater than a m plus r plus 1 uh, uh, that is the it will show the number of a redundant bit r uh, now uh, let us take a value of a r is equal to 3 if you are taking a r is equal to 3 and uh, m is equal to 4 so what is uh, m plus r it is 7 so if you are if you are taking a, a, a r is equal to 3 means what 2 to the power of 3 is uh, uh, it is 8 so 8 is greater than m plus r plus 1 so that means uh, that satisfy so uh, the r we are we are selecting it based on the conditions uh, with respect to the power of 2 uh, where power of 2 is greater than m plus uh, that is a data plus redundant uh, bits plus 1 that condition it has to star satisfy so based on this one we are uh, going to study the another very important uh, 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 error correction method uh, which is uh, uh, very important from university university perspective that is a humming code Humming code uh, basically it is a technique and this was uh, developed by R W Humming for uh, error uh, corrections. Now uh, Humming code uh, is uh, uh, it is basically used to set uh, 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 of a error cor uh, set for the error correction code and uh, this is uh, going to uh, uh, detect and going to correct the error. Um, de uh, detection is also there and correction of the error is also there uh, 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 and uh, uh, when the data is moved or uh, it is uh, 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 stored from the sender to receiver uh, side uh, under that particular case it is going to see is there any uh, detection error uh, is there if uh, error is identified it is going to correct so to understand uh, this one certain there are certain factor is there which you have to uh, uh, note down and try to remember this one now here if you try to see uh, the humming code error uh, uh, detection method uh, this is a representations of a humming code data that is you can see this one uh, 1 to 11 uh, that means uh, okay or a 0 to 10 so uh, the uh, here in this case the r is uh, showing a redundant uh, c bit and uh, d is nothing but your data so here you can see uh, r uh, at the uh, uh, R1 uh, 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 conditions, R2 condition, R4 condition, R8 condition. That is like a 8421. So that is the four different uh, 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 positions. R uh, you can able to uh, see the redundancy case, and these are nothing but your data. Uh, it is being uh, put across this point. Now here, if you want to uh, use uh, based on this, you will are going to identify the you are going to find the R1 uh, uh, scenario, R2 scenario, R3 scenario, uh, R4 scenario, R8. That means uh, at, uh, at R1, uh, 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 it will take care of uh, uh, the uh, certain number of uh, bits. R2, it is going to take certain number of bits. R4, it is going to take a certain number of bits. R8, it is going to say, uh, select certain number of uh, bits. What does means? Uh, what I mean to say is that uh, here there are 11 positions are there. Among these uh, 11 positions, R1 is going to select the uh, bit with respect to 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. R2 is going to select uh, the uh, uh, bit with respect to uh, position 2, 3, 6, 7, 10 and 11. R4 is going to uh, take care of the bits uh, with respect to 
four, five, six, and seven. R8 is going to select the bit position with root 8, 9, 10, 11. And you have to remember uh, 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 these are nothing but uh, uh, having a four, uh, individual is uh, just like a, you can think like a block of four bits each. These all are four bits each is there. So let us take uh, see the R1. What you can see that, uh, that all these positions it is uh, uh, representing uh, in the showing in the form of a four bits and R1 is uh, will take care of these number of uh, bits uh, positions. Are you getting my? It is going to see that uh, at these positions any bit change is there not. R2 is going to see these number of uh, bits. Uh, that means uh, 2, 3, 6, 7, 10, 11. Here 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. That uh, uh, you have to keep this one in your mind uh, for a easy understanding. So uh, uh, after that one, you are going to uh, see, you can remember this so R1 to R2, you can see this very simple way is that 1, 3, 5 and 7, uh, 9. So in this case, in the when you go to R2, you, you change the uh, uh, the first bit by additional of 1. So it becomes 2, 5 becomes 6, 9 becomes 10. So that is R2. So uh, once you are uh, uh, known the R2 for R4, so R4, wherever it starts, it will take the next four. R8 will take a next, uh, 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 that next consecutive. That is a three, three. R4 will take a next three. R8 will take a next three. That, that means it become a four, four. So this is how the, uh, the different uh, uh, bit position it is being identified. Now let us stay, uh, see one example with respect to the arming code case. So how it is going to identify this particular error. So uh, here uh, to understand uh, this one, let us see this uh, particular example. Now in this example, you can see that uh, there is a data is being shown over here, 1001101. So this data is uh, represented here, it is being shown here. Now, uh, uh, what it is going to uh, is that uh, we are going to uh, select R1, R2, R4 and R8 is equal to 1. Uh, uh, all this uh, position R1, R2, R4, R8 is equal to uh, 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 1 or we can, we can uh, uh, depending upon the conditions. So here uh, this bit, data bit, it is being shown uh, in a different position. You can see 1 is here, 0 is here, 1 is here, 1 is here, 0, 0, 1. That means it is a 7 bits data is here. This 7 bit data is being placed here. Now, uh, in, in the uh, initial uh, scenario, you can see this one, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and this one is a 1. So this is... Uh, 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 here, in this uh, particular scenario, if you, if you try to uh, take it as a 1, 2, 3, 4. So, uh, uh, automatically, this is a 4 bit. So, that, that is an even bit. So, here you can, uh, you can see, uh, uh, try to see that, uh, that uh, the uh, error is occurred here. So, because there is a, a different variations in the, in the bit uh, size positions. So that is what we, we try to see in this uh, particular scenario. Now, uh, assume that uh, uh, if this is a 1, so automatically in this case 1, zi one zero, zero, one, one, zero. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So automatically here, uh, 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 if, if uh, since it is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 bit is there, and in this case what it is, it is 0. So there is no error, it is an even case. So here also you see, it is two bit. There is no error in this case. Here also, if you see, this is only one bit. There is a, uh, in this case, no error. It is a one bit in this case. But here if you see one, two, three, four, but here it is an error because it is showing a uh, one. So it is. It should be a zero. So here what you have seen is that in this case, first it is, uh, able to detect uh, this error that that uh, there is a uh, detection uh, in the R1 uh, scenario is exist. Now we, we will try to go further. 
now the uh, error uh, detections uh, is uh, further going to see now what we are going to do is that no, we are we are taking uh, uh, the uh, uh, these factors that means we are taking this r1 r2 r3 r4 uh, how we have found we have created r1 r2 r3 from here okay and here we have used the conditions that uh, assume that uh, uh, this is one so uh, uh, if it has been uh, if if we are considering this as a zero then there is no error but we intentionally created this as a one to see that there is error okay so we we brought it here okay in this case uh, 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 we have we have taken this one and we try to put it here so one two uh, one uh, uh, two uh, three here it is one two three here it is one here it is one two so if you take the if you take only the r1 uh, case you are having uh, uh, the case with respect to uh, the, uh, uh, the you can try to see this one what is it is a odd parity now here also if you try to see uh, take the case with respect to uh, uh, the r2 you can find that it is a odd parity uh, here also you can see that it is only a one again it is a odd parity and uh, here uh, if you try to uh, take a scenario this is a, a even parity so uh, like this uh, we we try to uh, create and uh, uh, if you if you uh, compute this one then we uh, the bit positions it is showing so when we when we when we go back we will try to see that in the bit position 7 uh, the error is existing that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so in the bit position 7 the error uh, um, uh, the uh, the parity bit will exist suppose uh, uh, if you are taking this particular scenario so you will be finding the bit positions error that uh, that means what uh, you can you can try to uh, take the case 100 uh, uh, 100 one one zero one so this is your actual uh, data bit so that is what one zero zero one 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 zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one so this is uh, the final code you are you are going to transmit that is what you can see here in this particular this is after r8 what is going to happen one zero zero one 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 zero zero one zero one so uh, this is a uh, uh, this is uh, if you uh, try to uh, uh, see here it is uh, stating with respect to the seventh bit one two three four five six seven so in the seventh bit that particular uh, bit uh, change it is going to identify so that is what we see in the case of uh, error detections now uh, we go to the final is the stlc frames so in the STLC uh, uh, frames is the another uh, one more important uh, components and that you have to uh, look across because this is normally being uh, analyzed in the case uh, or it is of def of oftenly appears in the university question papers. What is X STLC stands for? That is a high level data link protocols. This particular uh, uh, protocol, it is most commonly used in the data link uh, uh, layers and it is uh, basically uh, do the uh, transmission or a communication using a half duplex and in the full duplex mode. And uh, further it is used uh, for the switched or a non-switched channels. Uh, this particular protocol uh, is uh, often used for the point to point as well as a multi-point network. This is the one protocol for the uh, uh, data link layers. Now, STLC, uh, uh, basically, it uses a a ARQ, uh, that is automatic request. And that means uh, if a particular uh, data is not received, it is uh, re requesting for the retransmissions. So that's why HTLC uh, protocols uh, under the data link layer, it is being uh, divided into three frame structures. One is information frame, that is a second is a supervisory frame and third is a, a unnumbered frame, that is a I frame, S frame and a U frame. 
so under these uh, three frames this particular data is being transmitted so uh, uh, you can see the iframe basically it is used uh, uh, to carry the user data and uh, 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 if when the acknowledgement is received uh, uh, then uh, it is uh, considered as a, as a uh, piggy uh, back or a iframes now actually uh, uh, piggy back uh, is a one particular terms basically what exactly mean by piggy back actually it's a, a technique uh, to hook up the acknowledgement uh, 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 so that the out, uh, for the outgoing uh, data frame that means it is purposely doing a delay for the acknowledgement not to receive to by the receiver so that is uh, the information in the case of the i frame uh, we are going to see with respect to the uh, hdlc the uh, another uh, is nothing but a supervisory frame in the case of a supervisory frame it is only to transport control information that means it does not carry any data in this particular case it will not carry any user information you cannot see any user information blue sh sheets and is used for the uh, 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 to control the informations uh, 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 which uh, uh, in the case of iframe we can see a picky backed uh, uh, conditions so that is uh, uh, that control is being handled by the supervisory frame and the u frame is the reserve for the system informations that means it is used for carrying the informations regarding the management like a link uh, uh, mode setting and other control informations so here uh, if you want to uh, uh, understand uh, this one further let us see the final phase of our uh, this slide here you can uh, see this one uh, the stlc frame structure it has been defined like this one it has a flag address control user information uh, uh, fcs that is a frame check sequence and a flag so flag is there on the either side so uh, 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 it is also having uh, 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 that is a part of the control uh, otherwise uh, you can have uh, you can uh, try to see this one uh, that there is address base is there database the checksum base is there on the uh, on the uh, both side you can uh, find the flag uh, uh, flag uh, presence also existing in this form of hdlc frame structures now uh, what exactly the flag is that flag is a, a, is a part of hdlc frame uh, structures of a 8 bit uh, sequence so that is what we uh, see so uh, if if i if i am uh, saying uh, this uh, structures i'm uh, this is a part of the entire uh, structure of these bits what we are seeing here it is exactly this one but uh, uh, it has uh, when we talk about a control it it varies the functionality with respect to information phase supervisory frames and the uh, unnumbered uh, frame structures so here uh, uh, the flag is uh, of the hdlc fa phase is 8 bit sequence just like a flag shows that when to start when to be uh, end that those things are a flag function ulti address phase address field means uh, it is the uh, basically it talks about where uh, from where to where that means it gives an idea about uh, the uh, uh, the secondary stations where to that this data has to transmit so that's why this address field uh, consists of a 8 bit uh, that is a 256 addresses you can able to maintain in this case of the hdlc frames and in the case of a control phase uh, field uh, is normally one to two bytes segment uh, it is used to maintain the flow and error controls and uh, uh, data is a user information uh, data uh, remains as a data information uh, uh, checksum uh, uh, is nothing but your fcs uh, that is a, a frame uh, check sequence and is basically is to identify the error detections so uh, 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 it is basically a, a two to four bytes uh, 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 structure it is there that's why a, a, a 16 bit long uh, checksum or a cyclic redundancy check is uh, used for detecting the error in the case of a in the whether it is in the address whether it, it is there in the information uh, field because of the peggy backing all these th things is being uh, used in the stlc frame structure so whatever in the stlc frame structure is being uh, uh, you can uh, uh, seeing in the in the uh, i frame es frame and use u frame it is what 
being uh, seen in the final uh, section of uh, this one and uh, uh, this is used in widely uh, to improve the throughput in the worldwide networking uh, for a multi point or a point to point networking applications so uh, with this we come to the end of uh, the discussions uh, with respect to the error detections and uh, 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 with respect to the error control. So this is how uh, the uh, data frame, uh, data link layer is going to play a major role. Thank you.